All right, you guys, what it do? Your boy is back on the grind one more time. And today is the very, very, very first day I am attacking some minor body work. I've never done body work before ever. I thought this would be a perfect time for me to do so. And why not start on the deck lid for the Skylark that um, Mako was really lazy about uh, painting. So. What I decided to do was just kind of do it myself. Uh, the actual overall paint job of the car is not terrible. Um, it's definitely not, I guess, up to my standard, so it will be nothing like uh, my Chevelle. However, you know, it does the job, it's presentable. It was pretty much what I was going after. I just thought they wouldn't be as lazy on a lot of things. Uh, the whole reason why I am doing this myself, one, is just to learn. Two, they told me they would repaint it, but I'm not gonna take it back and have them repaint it um, the way that they did. Three, they don't do any body work. And four, I also wanted to try to do some minor body work myself. So this would be a perfect opportunity for me to kind of learn, uh, just learn the basics and uh, just kind of go from there. So in doing some research and talking to some people, um, I decided to kind of do it myself. Now I have done a lot of painting, uh, you know, I've, obviously painted uh, my wheels before. If you guys have been following me for a long time, I've done some custom paint job on my wheels, things like that. So I am not new to to painting, I guess, uh, just kind of small jobs, but uh, you know, I've done some sanding, I've done some some filling in some cracks some dents and things like that. So I thought that I would teach myself to do this. Uh, now the deck lid is actually not horrible. Uh, there's a dent here. And there's another little ding, I think, right here. Other than that, it's actually not bad. Now, these marks right here weren't here. This is actually my own doing, um, and I feel dumb for doing it. So there's a spoiler that sits here, and I just put it on there loosely uh, and was just going to come back later and just take it off. Uh, and, of course, I forgot. I lifted up the deck lid that it was on the car and then it slid down and fell. Luckily I caught it before it actually hit the main portion of the car, but it ended up leaving these marks from the studs that hold the uh, spoiler in. I've uh, sanded some of those out. These weren't too bad, but as you can see down here. So what I tried to do was sand them down and feather them out and try to get as much of those little deep scratches out as I could. Um, so it's not perfect, but I did buy some some filler, some Bondo. So I thought that I would send it down as far as I could and then fill it in with some Bondo. I've already done some initial scuffing on it and then uh, doing some more research, it sounds like I have to rough up these areas where these deep kind of dents and scratches are in there, uh, just a little bit more rougher grit. And then, uh, so that way the uh, Bondo will adhere or stick to it a lot better. So that's what I'm actually going to do now. Um, I did some initial scuffing on it because I just wanted to kind of see uh, what it would look like scuffed up and how smooth it would actually get. And all the major kind of dents and dings. Uh, there's another section up here I'll probably uh, put some filler on. Uh, then I'll obviously sand the filler down. Uh, to the best that I can and then smooth over the whole thing. Um, I'm really just trying to do what I can, you know, do it yourself type of channel. And then since I am taking it back, I'm actually taking it back to Mako so they can pretty much just respray it. Since the spoiler will be off and it, the body work will be prepped since they don't do any body work unless you pay them, uh, I figure that if I can get it prepped good enough myself and then have them do minimal work on it, pretty much just spray the damn thing. Um, hopefully it will come out a lot better than what it would if I just took it there and just had them do it. So um, this is my opportunity to do it and kind of get it painted, I guess, for free, so to speak, and uh, just kind of go from there. So I'm not gonna film any of this because I don't wanna put any of the wrong stuff on the internet, being that this is my first time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just attack it myself and then just kind of come back and show you guys and stage just kind of what I've done. All right, I've been at this for about 90 minutes or so. I uh, went ahead and laid down the filler and it actually came out pretty good. I, I smoothed everything out. I didn't wanna go too heavy with the uh, 80 grit because I was just trying to initially just knock some things down and kind of smooth it out. I didn't wanna get it down too far because uh, I'm gonna go back over it 
with the 180 so i didn't want to go too crazy on it but everything is actually kind of smooth to the touch uh, there is a little bit of high spots i would say uh, but when i go back over it with the 180 to kind of help get some of these scratches out and blend everything in then i think that will help um, so i'm happy with it it's definitely it's been a learning experience because i didn't realize how fast that filler will dry i don't know if i initially put in too much hardener or what uh, it took me about two or three times to kind of get everything dialed in but uh you know i'm still learning <laughs> and and it looks pretty good you guys uh, so what i'm gonna do is there's a little dip right here and i think it's from the spoiler the point of the spoiler so uh when the spoiler gets lifted on or if somebody lifts up on it it kind of dents it in right here uh so i might add just a little bit here just to kind of fill in some of that um that little dip down there i'll probably add some around here because this was actually really uh it didn't look good so i sanded it down with some 80 to try to get it as smooth as possible and then i'll put some filler in there and then I think we are good. Oh, one more spot right here. There's a little ding right here. So uh, just these three areas. And then I think I'm just going to go over it again with 180 grit. Again, trying to level, smooth everything down, get some of these scratches out. And then I'm going to do the whole entire thing uh, in 320. Uh, that way the uh, primer will have a good, good solid surface to get a bite to. And then uh, we'll go from there. So I think I'm doing okay, you guys. Definitely get in the comments. Let me know. Uh, what you guys think i know it's not ideal uh i know in a lot of circumstances or in most circumstances uh, you'd want to take all the paint off uh, get everything down to bare metal and whatnot but again this is just practice for me being that this paint job is not the greatest uh, paint job and at some point i probably will end up painting it again i think this is solid practice for me to kind of just get it presentable and then uh you know just 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 to give me something uh, to learn since I've never been a body guy. When I was thinking about it though, I have done some body work and repair on my jet ski. So that was actually a learning experience as well. I had to fix some fiberglass, use some gel coating and things like that, specifically for the water. Similar situations here, uh, but you know, again, everything's a learning experience. So I'm glad I'm trying to attack this and get it done. So uh, let me go ahead and do this again. I'll chime back in all right y'all so i am pretty much done so i went in and filled everything uh like discussed even went around the keyhole there was a lot of imperfections around the keyhole there so i got that dialed in uh put a little bit more filler right here and here then deep scratches here i went down with a 80 grit and then i tried to get them all out with uh 180 grit and then i went over it again with 320 grit and you can still see the scratches however you cannot fill them at all really just so i might do another once over just to kind of make sure that you can't like fill any of these scratches anymore and then uh and then just kind of go from there so i might just do it one more time or then we should be good you guys so this has definitely been a learning experience a lot of patience uh but um you know the only way you can learn and do things is just go ahead and attack it get your feet wet you know what i'm saying so all right y'all so here is the trunk lid and spoiler and it actually turned out really good uh the only thing man and gosh this is why i'll never go back to mako again now the it, the the trunk lid actually turned out good and that's mainly because i did the body work myself uh so i'm actually happy with it this is the first time i ever done body work at all uh at least on a car i mean i've done rims and things like that but yo this actually looks really good and they literally just had to to spray it you know scuff it up and spray it so it actually turned out really good i didn't do any body work on this so there's going to be some imperfections on the spoiler uh, but the spoiler is nice and smooth and painted and so is this but the reason why i said that i won't go back there they're just lazy you guys look at this they did not paint the edge or they dismissed it or forgot it <laughs> why 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 do i have bad luck with these guys i'm just ugh, i'm just sick with it so i noticed it when i was there but you know, i was like you know what i'm gonna go off on somebody and let me just get the heck out of here and i'll just live with it man i'm just ugh, i'm just so fed up with it but anyways nonetheless uh it looks good so i'm gonna go ahead and take this out and then put this on uh the car
All right, you guys, so the trunk is on. It actually was a little bit easier than I thought. Last time I did this, it was uh, quite a process, uh, but I might, I might try to work it a little bit. As you can see, it has a big gap here and a little bit uh, narrower of a gap here. So I might work it just a little bit more uh, to the left um, that's my OCD coming out but I mean all in all it is pretty good so but I would like to kind of go over just a little bit more uh, the only thing about this trunk is I think the trunk is warped a little bit because my other trunk doesn't fit like this if you guys can see it's raised a little bit right there you might be able to kind of see it more from behind so I don't know what that's from I don't know if it's just a defect or if it got hit at one point and bowed or something i'm not sure but i'm not gonna worry about it right now um you know i still have my spare trunk so worst case i could uh, punch holes in that and <clears throat> use that uh, you know if i really if it really really bugs me that much but uh <clears throat> let me go ahead and adjust this here real quick i'll probably do that off camera and then uh, i'll go ahead and put on the wing and then uh shoot man we'll be in business Final piece to make it look pretty. We got it right, yeah. So these clips here, I saved them from another emblem. They literally just pop on and they have like three little prongs. And you're supposed to snap them in, so. Let's see. Let's see if that works. 